Thank you so much. Uh, I'm Dr. Basir Khan Achakzai, and I'm the Director of General Health Ministry of National Health Services Government of Pakistan. Uh, although the uh, uh, epidemiological uh, structure of cholera in Pakistan that we have last seen in 2010, the uh, cholera outbreak uh, we experienced, but unfortunately, being uh, one of the uh, world fifth largest country, uh, we are prone to various uh, natural uh, disasters like uh, flooding and cyclones and all these things. And that is the reason that uh, we currently ex uh, experience during the years 2022 and 2023 cases of cholera. Uh, these uh, sporadic cases reported every year uh, during summer and monsoon season. But the steep uh, upsurge of acute fatty diarrhea observed during uh, March 2022. Uh, I will just uh, uh, highlight two events. Uh, number one, that the a total of 290 late confirmed cases were reported from January to May 2022. And uh, among them, half of these cases were uh, children below nine years. Uh, and 70% environmental sample from public water sources found uh, Vibrio cholera. It means that. Uh, no. Okay, so uh, the update uh, uh, which I just uh, mentioned that the two event we have uh, um, experienced uh, and that was during the, uh, uh, the 2022 and 2021 and the uh, country in is an endemic for cholera with regular cases be, being reported. Uh, Uh, yeah, the disease trend to follow a seasonal pattern in Pakistan, it is after the rainy season um, and during the summer. There has been an upsurge of uh, acute water uh, uh, cholera cases in Pakistan in 2022, affecting almost uh, 762,000 acute water uh, watery diarrhea, and suspected cases was uh, uh, only 1,068 confirmed cholera cases. Uh, this is the uh, pattern in various districts of Pakistan. Next, please. Uh, the National Strategy for Cholera Control and Prevention. Uh, uh, the government of Pakistan declared the outbreak uh, of cholera, uh, establishment of coordination structure at all uh, level, established uh, uh, technical working group at national and provincial level, and then the oral cholera vaccine campaign conducted and almost uh, 300 million people were vaccinated. Uh, then the Sentinel site established and notified uh, um, in most of the district, not all the district, but most of the district. And then the risk, communi uh, risk communication and community involvement activities conducted all in all the provinces. One of our provinces, they have the cholera response uh, plan in Pakistan, and that uh, plan was developed uh, and implemented. Uh, and the goal for that, the, the goal was that to the overall goal for acute watery, watery diarrhea and cholera response plan and to contribute to the reduction of morbidities and mortalities attributed to cholera in Pakistan. Uh, next, please. The key achievement uh, and the success uh, factors uh, uh, the oral cholera vaccine campaign, uh, which was in emergency response with the support of uh, WHO conducted with uh, some international partner group uh, uh, as well, and uh, the UNICEF or WHO. Uh, um, however, the second round of the campaign was not conducted due to global uh, OCV shortage in, in Pakistan. And um, this, uh, 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 in Pakistan, the two provinces, uh, which is Sindh and Balochistan, where the cases after the flooding was uh, emerged. So there, the uh, vaccination campaign was almost uh, uh, more than 70% uh, conducted there. And uh, we tried our level best uh, uh, to, to uh, um, communicate and to educate our communities uh, there in the, those provinces and by deploying more healthcare providers uh, after having the training. And next, please. The key achievement, uh, especially in success factors, uh, uh, was uh, the laboratory strengthening. Uh, the government of Pakistan strengthened the laboratory network, educacy campaign was there, and then a high-level mission led by WHO visited uh, two, two provinces, Balochistan and Sindh, as I said, and uh, then uh, um, the provinces also, through their uh, certain resources, they also participated in the uh, vaccine campaign. Uh, the government of Pakistan, with the WHO support, uh, a number of public sector laboratories was also 
uh, provided support to, to, uh, to test for the cholera in the country, and it was uh, enhanced from 4 to 38 percent. This was a, 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 a good achievement during those days. And then also uh, the guidance and the testing protocol or the necessary uh, supplies for rapid uh, diagnostic tests were also sent to, to those, those provinces. And uh, we, uh, the success factor, we can say that it was WHO guidelines adoption and also the, uh, by the technical oversight, uh, the technical working group oversight of all those activities. Next, please. Uh, key achievement in uh, the success factor, the strengthening of uh, surveillance, the uh, government of Pakistan strengthening surveillance system in the country. We actually, after the COVID, we learned that uh, how to uh, strengthen and how to uh, how it will be uh, important for uh, um, establishing at the district level and provincial level the disease response un unit. And so we we did for this, uh, we activated those for cholera uh, cases as well when the flooding uh, came in Pakistan. And then uh, additional uh, human resource uh, by the support of our partner organization, UN agencies were deployed there in those provinces. And then training was given to them and surveillance system was a little bit more strengthened uh, uh, there uh, because we have uh, in National Institute of Health was declared as a hub for all the data and surveillance and they are conducting that uh, uh, periodically. Geomapping of cholera cases was also in a very important area which we work on that. And in that, uh, um, we uh, um, few uh, achievements were uh, um, uh, attained by establishing more sentinel site and uh, timely case detection and the laboratory confirmation was a little bit more, uh, um, uh, became more smart and more active. active. And then the uh, reporting system of the cases was uh, uh, more uh, periodic uh, with the National Institute of Health and it was all because of the community uh, awareness campaigns were there and uh, the establishment of the laboratory uh, there. Next, please. The, my, my request to all the uh, organizers was that this is the, uh, the longest, the first shared uh, presentation with you. I had made, as per your direction, just uh, a presentation for 10 minutes. So this is, uh, I'm skipping so many things, um, keeping in view the, the time which has been allocated to, to me. So uh, the case management uh, and prevention, the rapid assessment of health facilities managing cholera patient, it was uh, done in uh, two provinces where the cases were uh, emerged. And then adoption of treatment guideline, uh, we uh, almost in these two provinces, uh, 700 plus healthcare worker were uh, uh, trained for management and also the monitoring of antibiotic susceptibility uh, testing, uh, trend of guidance on rational use of antibiotic. It was uh, part of our campaign uh, in, the, uh, in the provincial level. And then uh, by having all these trained people, so the outbreak uh, 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 was broken to, to our level and then provision of medicine and medical supplies uh, were made available to the, to the provinces. And then, uh, we also uh, tried our level best uh, through our national campaign to improve the case management and reduce the mortality. So the healthcare worker uh, are still deployed over there uh, and they are uh, reporting to the National Institute of Health. Uh, um, and there in few districts, which are high prone to, to the uh, cholera cases there, uh, we established the cholera treatment center and uh, the guideline was adopted from, from the WHO. Next, please. Uh, water and sanitation, uh, the wash area was uh, uh, a little bit more focused because um, in the flooding season, or 33 million people were displaced or affected, especially the, the drinking water was the, the, the top most uh, uh, huge problem. So uh, we, uh, along with the the partner organization, the provincial government, they provided the safe drinking water to that areas, and we uh, provided a purification tablet and chlorine powder uh, on emergency basis. And also, uh, we uh, um, uh, provided the, uh, um, the resources from the federal government uh, to um, through our uh, various partner organization and to, to to fill the gap of the provinces. Next, please. 
risk communication and uh, community engagement was uh, our on top of the agenda we uh, printed the, the uh, information in uh, uh, education material uh, regarding cholera and uh, differentiation for cholera and acute for what uh, diarrhea and that those were uh, distributed in the uh, districts and the provinces and also uh, through the religious leader and the school teachers we uh, conducted some certain uh, community awareness session um, that uh, with regard to water uh, safe water we uh, uh, conducted all the sessions uh, through the local government system to uh, create awareness among the people for uh, how to use the uh, the water and how to uh, manage the, the uh, cases of acute water diarrhea and how to report that quickly to the health workers. Next, please. Uh, there were some challenges uh, uh, because keeping in view the Pakistan, uh, the, the, the volume of Pakistan, the geography of Pakistan, some hard to reach areas. So expansion of surveillance network uh, uh, with enhanced capacity it is uh, definitely a, a huge challenge in implementation in certain areas which are inaccessible uh, through uh, proper road uh, uh, lines. It was a challenge for us. And then the uh, IPC implementation to prevent transmission of infection by isolation of cholera patient in designated health facilities was also a uh, challenge. And then the rollout of the uh, oral uh, cholera vaccine campaign in high risk and outbreak areas. Uh, so uh, there were uh, certain Certainly, if you uh, the the main uh, factor or challenge was the, the non-involvement of the other sector as well, like water and water and sanitation education and the community uh, uh, um, uh, services suppliers. So it was uh, an area of concern for us, and also so some resource resources constraint. But uh, due to multiple uh, coordination mechanism. Uh, we established uh, a national task force, and that national task force then supported the provinces, not only to uh, to help in the early detection or the body network, but also to to increase the uh, um, the awareness some for wash and other uh, health uh, uh, related uh, initiatives. Next, please. Uh, we have set certain priorities, keeping in view the. Uh, the uh, global uh, cholera uh, 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 recommendations and the strengthening of cholera technical working group and coordination meetings and regular monitoring of the cholera situation in the country. WHO is uh, the uh, providing us a support for that uh, coordination mechanism. And uh, also uh, we have through another ministry, Ministry of Science and Technology to strengthen our the water co testing quality at the provincial level and also to, to create certain awareness uh, uh, in the masses with regard to the safe drinking water. Um, uh, of course, the uh, capacity building of the um, health worker was necessary for case surveillance reporting and response and management. Next, please. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh,